some exclusive previews from the Gamma Trade Show. But before we get into that, Simeon, why don't you let them know what we got cooking over here at Dial H? Oh, over at Dial H10, you mean? Because I do. now, uh, on the WizKids store, if you are looking to buy some of the Scott Porter, some of the things that are exclusive Ooh. only to there, yes. I know the, the Spider-Man, some of the Iconics are a limit to six only, like a max of six mm -hmm. per store. So if your store regular gets eight, ten plus people, you might need to use the WizKids official website. Also, if you're an international player, they're going to be bumping up all the countries that they ship to. They're actually adding 200 countries 200. to wow. who they ship to. But if you're going to be shopping at the WizKids store, using code DIALH10 will get you a 10% off discount. And it's really awesome. I know there's several things on there that I've picked up over the years. There's some exclusives. There's some convention things that they just throw in occasionally. Yeah, all the new brick incentives are, are fantastic. Oh, it's awesome. So you're, if you're ordering a brick from there, I mean, the big things right now, though, all these Iconic sets coming out yep. and the Scott Porter Con exclusives, you can go ahead and get yourself 10% off with Dial H10, D-I-A-L-H-1-0. So go ahead and check that out, guys. We'll have a link in the description for shop.wizkids.com. But, Simeon, why don't we get into these awesome previews? Absolutely. So, so the game I'm of trade over show. To Bellevue Hero Clicks quick here. <laughs> yeah. It might be a little disjointed, guys, when we're going through this. I'll do my best to keep it like contingent, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jay Patel uh, went to Gamma and he didn't disappoint. He got a ton of previews, a ton of pictures. Uh, really grateful that he was able to snag all these and posted them all up. It's a lot, but yeah. Um, first up, I guess. In yeah, order, let's take a look at we've it. We've got Avengers 60th. So this is obviously the next set. We're going to see way more when Huntington's happens. Yes. It's going to be the super pre-release, and they're going to be unboxing. Scott Porter's unboxing is literally the week Whoa. leading up to Huntington's. But, yeah, we got Man. we got a big old doom. <laughs> no. And the word on the street is that he's most likely a chase. Potentially, I hope he's not the ultra chase. Potentially man. the ultra oh chase. My God. Uh, we've got a Carol Danvers, and we've got a really cool-looking Thor just he's Walking like a Jay Garrick hat over here, yeah. <laughs> dude. Like, I'll say, like, this looks this? a lot like one of the shifting focus Thors, but the one thing that sticks out like crazy compared to those is that chrome coloring. That, like, mm -hmm. that metallic coloring really comes through. You can see yeah, a shine the on it. These aren't, um, also these aren't on the digital renderings. Here. Yeah, these are actual, like, sculpts with paint. So uh, not digital renderings. These are, like, what they will look like, hopefully, uh, for everyone. But is yeah. this like a? I honestly don't know. Is this like a first appearance Thor? Is this the costume he has? I it don't looks, think so. But it looks pretty iconic. But um, he's so meaty. He's a thick <laughs> Thor, man. Like I feel like those like buttons were different when he first appeared. But again, like I'm not a huge Thor fan, yeah. so I don't know. This this is what I'm looking at right yeah. here. This doom here. And man, I, I, I there's a few people on our Discord too. We are just praying he's not the Ultra Chase. I'll shell out for a chase, but the Ultra Chase could be. That cape effect, oh, that man. little like magic orb he's like They've about to blast. They've done Thanos before. Yeah, Thanos it's has possible. been an ultra chase. I mean, Deadpool twice. There's then, so many possibilities. You know, more than likely, this is probably a common. That's a very he's common, uncommon sculpt. Yeah. Probably rare. That looks like a rare. I'd yeah. say a rare, probably. Even maybe a super rare. Yeah. Yeah. And then looks like so just showing off the front of the brick, guys. We've seen this. I love the box art for this. There's better pictures of this later. So. We'll just go ahead and keep going. And once again, we're going to skip through some stuff. This is probably the saddest part of the video, guys. It's one of my favorite comic series ever. I'm a huge Batman fan. But we get an exclusive look at the Nightfall Iconic set. So in the corner here, you're going to notice this purple tab. We saw the same thing with the pointing Spider-Man. Yeah. Uh, it was confirmed in the comments here that the purple tab does not mean that they like aren't playable. Right. A purple ring used to yes. mean it was a promo figure. Way it back couldn't in the be. Day. It was like automatically not tournament legal for whatever reason. Even though they weren't like specifically good or broken, they just weren't like. They were often legal. reprints. Right. Like they were like a lot of the time it was just like, hey, you got the figure early, but they weren't tournament legal. But don't worry, guys. These are. Yeah. So we'll show you what we can. We've got Batman in the Nightfall suit, one of my favorites, the blue and yellow. Oh, He's yeah. 60 points. Looks like this is going to be a trait because it's the front of the card. We've got another trait. Let's go to work. That tells us nothing. Yeah. Vital Strike. <laughs> he has a special damage power. Exploit. Yeah. Bonus damage to Bane, maybe. But look at this uh, card background. This is, that is very super, cool. super fun. And one thing I noticed with all the Iconics that we'll look at here is like, 
the cards are all really unique, all really stylized. Yeah, dude. They did an awesome. Like, they whoever knocked it their, out of the uh, part, part. Digital artist. What, what do you call that? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, digital art. Whoever that is doing the digital art did a really fun nailed job it. on all these. You nailed it. So these are really exciting. This next one, the smoke Ooh. effect in the back, the black. Once again, that yeah. purple color. So this is more than likely just the Iconics denotion. Um, 75 points for Bane. No split dial or no anything. Split dial, yeah. Venom injection, he's probably going to have something where he can pump up his stats and take some damage. Typically the Bane effect we see. He's also got I Will Break Him, which I don't know who that's alluding to. I Will Break Him. That's <laughs> definitely an Ivan Drago quote. Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's right. <laughs> We've also got Wear Down the Bat, but you can see in the background, it's it's a little tough to tell, but I think this might be like from Nightfall. Maybe yeah. this is like a comic panel, like... Some this looks art. to be like, you know, the scene in Dark Knight uh, Rises when he's in the... When he does the old, uh, I was born in the dark. Yeah, yeah, like maybe they're in there for this. Like there's yeah. like some light coming through the top, and you can kind of see that here. But we won't bore you with that. Guys, Ooh, this boy. is probably the thing out of everything we're going to look at today, the thing I'm most excited for. Once again, the coloring on point matches mm. the suit. Uh Azrael Batman is a character that I have wanted remade pretty much since he's been made because back in Crisis, uh, he was like a con exclusive figure. He was never that great. Uh, he's coming in at 65 points, terrorizing Gotham, very fitting. I also love that he has the Batman and Batman, Batman enemy. enemy yeah. So we will have like a Jean Paul Valley yeah. in his early stages, you know, like when he, he is the Batman and, you know, Bruce doesn't realize all the terrible stuff he's doing quite yet. So I love that he goes both ways. Same with the keywords. He's got Bat Family and Underworld. And then Mystical as well to boot. So fantastic all around. The system or Batman's morals, you know, that's like the question he asks throughout it is like, you know, are you really as good as you say you are, Batman? And then Wreathed in Flame. He's got flamethrowers on the wrist, baby. Yeah. <laughs> this guy's burning. So what's interesting, though, is like the uh, significant appearance for this is Detective Comics 677. So this isn't even uh, Nightfall. No, yeah. <laughs> they aren't, which is like, I, I mean, I thought that was his first appearance. Could be wrong. I, yeah. Maybe I'm not as big of a Bat fan as I thought. But, guys, that's the Batman that we can see. So that we'll was, keep moving. I had action figures when I was young, like a lot of people. And um, that was that Batman Azrael. I didn't even realize it wasn't like Bruce Wayne Batman. I just assumed it was Batman in one of his various suits because they they made a lot so they could sell toys. Yeah. But that was like one and of my let's go favorites. back to Oh gosh, Dude, he's so nineties. He's so nineties. Got to get that giant leg pointy, pouch. Yeah, the giant pointy <laughs> stuff. All the like accoutrements. Um, I, I sent the so uh, many utilities. The video of Stan Lee like <laughs> ripping on Rob Liefeld about like their design, and he's yeah. like, "How long does it take him to get into the suit? Because like <laughs> Spider Man's suit, he just slips it on. It's one thing, but this guy's got like buckles, pouch, and pouch, pouch, here, pouch, and... here, pouch over the face. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah, I know some people are not big fans of it, but personally, I love it. I think it's super Keep awesome going. sculpt. This is uh, Ooh. whoa, yeah. Big one. Whoa. So just the first thing to note is it says not final pending license or approval. It's also Marvel Studios' next phase, but I think we can take a guess as kind of what these figures yeah, are. They, they have a thing in common. Um, all, Well, all four of them, but like this this represents three shows that were uh, new to Disney+. Plus. So yes. uh, She-Hulk, obviously one of the most recent ones, Pizza Dog from the Hawkeye series, and then... We've got Conchu and Mark Spector slash Moon Knight. Mm -hmm. um, all like they were from the, obviously the Moon Knight series. Uh, Conchu looks great. Yeah, too. gosh, it looks like there's a clear like peg holding his head, so his head's just kind of like floating there. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. I don't think they've ever done that before, really. No, I mean this is a uh, pizza dog. Be looks, interesting. He looks so happy with that slice I'm, of pizza too. I'm really curious what this Conchu is going to do if he's going to be able to maybe like go colossal. You know, oh, kind of yeah. like that last fight and scene. That big fight scene. Or maybe, like, when you're playing him with Moon Knight, maybe he can kind of give him some bonuses of some kind. Yeah. Like, revives, like, a downed Mark Spector Kind of like somehow. White Lantern effects, maybe, or something. Yeah. Maybe he'll, he'll be, like, a, a shifting focus switch for other Moon Knights because in the set. Because of all the, like, yeah. Yeah. Because of the different ones. So that would be, like, the Steven one from Disney+. Plus. Yeah. Um, whereas Mark is actually, like, the classic Moon Knight look. Mm -hmm. And then did we ever see the third personality's Moon Knight? 
We didn't see a suit, but we no. saw like we saw Jake. Yeah, we saw where he Jake. Like, meh, like pointed the gun in the car Which, or whatever. In the comics, he's like got like a he's like a taxi driver, so he's got like a Brooklyn accent for whatever reason. And then they they made him like French or something. In the yeah, show. it was uh, it was weird. He was he had I think he had one line. Yeah, he really because like Ethan Hawke was like on the phone or whatever, and then the window rolls down, yeah. and he's like. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what he said. You thought you, thought you got rid of me. Ooh, Speaking okay. of, rah. no, we'll we'll get to that later when it's all like in pictures. I'm just trying to keep it connected, but sure, guys, I'm I'm really excited. These for this are one. so yeah. <laughs> these aren't iconics. They're guys. announcing new starters. These um, aren't iconics. No, these aren't iconics. <laughs> so we've got a, a Black Panther throwing like three vibranium Gambit. daggers. Yeah, <laughs> such like an awesome effect. I don't think we've seen him like with a throwing effect no. like that. We've got a Peter Parker taking a selfie on top of like the a building. That's crazy good looking. Yeah, that might even Iron be like Man the, the Daily Bugle he's standing on. Too. Yeah, and then I mean obviously like Carol Danvers usually gets a cool effect, but like yeah, these are all like extremely good sculpts for a starter. Like normally. Right. A Starters like common, common, uncommon, mm -hmm. rare, re and then maybe re -sculpt, re -sculpt. two super rares, maybe one super rare. But like these are all super rare plus quality. Yeah, this easily this Iron Man. Like you know, we were talking with the Thor and the Doom. Like you, it's it's a little hard to make out, guys. But there's some shine on this, mm -hmm. and this smoke effect is just fantastic. On the DC side, I mean, in my opinion, it's it's lackluster compared to like these three it's right hard here. To beat Even those Captain yeah. Marvel. I love this Batman pose, uh, but the Harley Quinn, pretty basic, pretty standard Superman. And then we've got Wonder Woman sporting her shield as well as the lasso. Yeah. But, yeah, a Marvel starter and a DC starter with four figures. Um, I believe that these will come with dice, tokens, maps, everything you need to play. And I'll be very interested to see the dials on these. I'm really hoping that, you know, at least a couple of these are playable because, especially this Iron Man, I'd love to put this yeah. Iron Man on the map and have it like actually be impactful. That Spider Man too, like so good, gosh, dude. That's such a, I mean, that's like a sculpt piece or like a Looks not, straight out of the video. A, that games. is a sculpt piece, but that's like a shelf piece, just like on its own without yeah. without any rarity needed. I might buy the starter just to like have him and put him. I it might be sculpt reuse. Um, these might be sculpts we see in like Avengers that is 60th true. and oh, Notorious, yeah. uh, but like. If, if that's the case, I'm not even mad. No, because I'm not mad. That at all. means this set's gonna have some really solid sculpts. Seriously, this uh, this Iron Man could be a chase sculpt. This looks better, yeah, than most super rare chase Iron Man sculpts. Okay, so there was one more slide for the Marvel Disney Plus. It just says next phase. Next phase. Nothing yeah. crazy. Once again, the most important thing to note is not final, pending license or approval. So. Who knows? This could be a situation where maybe they don't get to release it, but oh, I man. sure hope so. Hope it doesn't end up in, like, wave uh, two limbos. We'll keep scrolling. Okay, here we go. So once again, guys, we've got the Avengers 60 brick art. It looks Ooh. great. I love that kind of, like, painted style. You know, it really, I think, ties together, like, the 60 years. You've got all the iconic characters on there, yeah. all in their kind of, like, colorized fashion. Uh, we've got a starter kit Iron Man. I believe this is, like, isn't this like Iron Man Infinity is his name? It's like the nanotech armor. Yeah. Where it's, it's like the suit, like it's almost like Green Lantern. Like he like thinks it and it becomes that. It's, and it's it not like him. the extremist suit, but it's like, yeah, it's like the. Um, I don't think it's called Infinity, but you, you know what I'm talking about. It's like his, it's his like peak suit. This is like yeah. where Iron Man is like, like dang near like Reed Richards. Like, you know, yeah. just ultimate nuller fire this suit. <laughs> so. You guys can expect more than likely a map to come with this, and then possibly some Maybe more terrain. terrain. Yeah, we don't. We haven't heard anything about terrain for this set, but yeah, very cool variant Iron Man. Uh, same thing here, map terrain, and then we'd have to ask Calder. But that to me looks like a very standard like Captain America suit. He's got, That's like the Captain he's got America the wings. suit to me. He's got like the the big boots, the and the flared buckle gloves. On the, yeah, I don't know if this is an early early cap, like. But, yeah. I mean, I know, like, the wings, like, dropped off at a certain point. He stopped doing, like, the big cuffs on his clothing. Mm -hmm. So this is definitely earlier. Yeah. We've got Hulk, too, which, you know, take your pet. It could be any Hulk. <laughs> yeah. He's gone it's not gray so Hulk. Variations. It's not red Hulk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Um, but, yeah, same thing to expect yeah. here, guys. This three is the first set kits. with three play-at-home kits. On the back of the brick, we see that Doom again. We saw him earlier. Yeah. Please don't be an Ultra Chase. <laughs> 
please don't be an ultra chase. Was Thanos on like the back of ABPI? I feel like he was on like part of the booster, but I can't. God remember. Emperor Doom was on the back of Fantastic Four, and he was just a chase. Okay. So, hopefully, this is the same case. Guys, pray with us, please. <laughs> Uh, here we go. Okay, so Simeon, you take this one over. Yeah. I know, I know, you're pumped for this. Yeah. So, um, what do they call this one? Like shattered hearts, Wolverine, broken heart, Wolverine. I think, something I think like that. so. Yeah. Uh, Ooh. So yeah, this is Wolverine. He's got Alpha Flight, Weapon X, and X Men keywords. Um, it says he's zero zero three. Yeah, he's unique which, too. Yeah, he's which, he's unique, which is the first we've seen a uh, iconics that's unique. I think so. Um, so he has a trait that is pining after Gene. When Wolverine starts the game, choose another friendly character to be his crush. At the end of your turn, if Wolverine's crush is within two squares, you may heal Wolverine two clicks. So if you keep him, everything that he does is going to be within two squares, which mm -hmm. is really cool because of his other powers. But um, if his crush is within two squares at the end of the turn, he just heals two clicks, which is awesome. They don't give him any like regen or anything, but that's a great way for him to heal. And then if he's not within his two, like within two of his crush, you have a different effect. That is, all other characters within two squares modify their attack and damage minus one. That's going to be friendly and opposing. Yeah. But you could use him to kind of just, like, get up in, like, an opponent's face and, like, be a nuisance. Well, what, like, what I really like about it is that he's also an 18 combat reflexes. 18 so combat reflexes. So in tandem with minus points. one attack. For 45 points, he's six clicks long. He has a special speed power his whole dial with six yeah. speed, 11 attack the whole dial. That 18 combat reflexes on the first three, 17 uh, with toughness, battle fury the it's whole gonna dial. It's going to be hard to crack him. He's effectively a plus three defense. Yeah. And, guys, he's not going to be easy to outwit because... I can't wait for Wolverine one. to have a crush oh. on, like... Dark side or Thanos. Or <laughs> like, oh, another he, Wolverine. Oh, here comes my crush, Dark Side. Uh, so <laughs> his second trait is Ra. Uh, blades <laughs> cause it. fangs once per game when Wolverine uses it. So only one time before rolling, you may choose to increase the result by plus one for each character with the X Men team ability in your KO area. It's a great comeback. People mechanic. are already talking in the comments about how you could do multiple man, you could do cuckoos, <laughs> you could do like all kinds of stuff to like kill a bunch of people real quick and this does not follow the rule of three it increases the result so the result of blades is not a combat value it is a replacement and so yeah he could i think potentially do an infinite amount of damage with his blades roll um, yeah they might say like you know up to six or something like that but i i think as i don't is, think that's yeah. It's equal to the D6 roll, and this modifies that. Yeah. So So it's increasing the result. It's not a combat as value. As is written, like you could potentially you have 20 play dead like a... multiple men. I'm a one-shot Galactus. <laughs> yeah, basically. Uh, so that's a really fun power. It is just blades, and then once per game, yeah. super blades. Uh, locked in his room is his special this is speed what power. makes him crazy. Gosh. Ooh, and this is like... Man. As soon as I saw this, I thought, like, he needs to be a Herald of Galactus. Uh, so he's got Sidestep. Wolverine can only be targeted by characters within two squares. And if so, we go back to that trait, yeah. minus one attack and damage. There'll be minus one attack and damage if his crush isn't next to him or within that two squares. And then if they're within that two squares and they're taking a shot at him, next turn he has Sidestep. So he's closing the gap. They can't – I mean, they could potentially hypersonic in, hypersonic out. Mm -hmm. But this is uh, Dolphin Symbol – but like crazy because it doesn't depend on terrain it doesn't it doesn't depend on anything it just says you can only be targeted by characters within two squares which is very close in yeah. today's game that's very that's, close uh, i mean i i love this i also like seriously going back to the digital artist shout out to you guys because oh, yeah. this the, framing the photo frame that they put amazing. the card they also, I don't know if they've ever done this, but it says appearance, X-Men, the, the animated, animated series, series, season five, episode five. Yeah. So it's directly referencing what it's from, which is really cool. But one thing that oh, doesn't geez. make sense to me, so here's the front of the box, guys, a little digital Captain rendering. Captain Hearts, that's what it was, yeah. There you go, yeah. Um, what did we say, Sacred Hearts? I had Broken Hearts. Broken yeah, Hearts. Something like that. Billy, <laughs> Billy Joel, or not Billy, Billy Ray Cyrus, <laughs> Achy Breaky Hearts. The Achy it doesn't make any sense to me why this guy has sidestep he's this is just proof <laughs> that sidestep can be for anybody because like i mean my thought is like maybe he's got like a rollaway bed yeah he's got it on is casters it and it's, yeah. just, it's slowly <laughs> it's sliding. sliding after his crush 
Oh, but guys, this is amazing. A great display piece. At least they I know didn't give him charge because that would make even less sense than you size will. Them, you guys will definitely be seeing this box. As soon as it comes out, it will be displayed on our shelf. We'll be picking oh, up gosh. all the Iconics for you guys. We'll even though he's in person. unique, I'm going to have at least two. And I, <laughs> I said that as soon as like he was previewed. I was like, one to rock, gonna, one to stock. Gonna, yeah, I was like, I'm going <laughs> to buy two. I'm going to have one on my shelf that I never opened, and I'm going to have one that I play with. So but. cool. So we'll keep scrolling here. We'll keep Ooh. scrolling. Guys, here's something important. Yeah. So very quickly, do not quote us on this. This is like 99%. Yeah. It says 2023 convention highlights onslaught. Onslaught. Make sure to take note of that. Blah, blah. Here's that Gen Con. D&D game. That the third through the sixth. Styles? We've got yeah. that. We've got Gen Con. We've got WizKids World Championships. It does not say Hero Clicks here, but we yeah. can... This is like almost the exact same dates it was last year. I can't imagine they have this entire space rented out just for Onslaught. I don't think they do it like back-to-back -back weekends. I feel no. like... And with all the other hero clicks they previewed, I'm not seeing anything for Onslaught. You no, know, so yeah. this has to be... Like, so Memphis, Tennessee, once again, is where Worlds will be, more than likely. And the dates, the 15th of September to the 17th, guys, which, you know, we will be there. Hopefully we'll be covering stuff. We're really excited for it. It says Tournament. But once again, this is an onslaught slide. Yeah. So, you know, don't take our word for it. You can kind of plan around this, but wait for an official, official, official announcement from WizKids September's, before you do anything. That's still four-ish months away. So yeah, you have some time. Yeah, you, you do have time to plan, but it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of rough. I would, I'd put money on it, but that doesn't mean that you should. <laughs> yeah, uh, my money is not your money. Yeah. All right, we'll keep going. So we covered that already. Uh, nice GIF or GIF, <laughs> however you say it. Here we go. Guys, Ooh. this is really interesting. We've yeah. got a Moon Knight, but what is of note here is that he has the Phoenix Force keyword. Uh, he's got all the other standard stuff. He's got Cosmic, I suppose, but then like Detective Mystical. He's got a trait favored by Khonshu. When, move, when Moon Knight KOs an opposing character, give him an Avatar token if he doesn't already have one. So you cannot stack these, unfortunately. That would make him a lot better, in my opinion. Yeah. When Moon Knight would be KO'd, you may remove an avatar token. If you do, instead turn him to click four. Uh, he's got some improved targeting, blocking, power cosmic. He's 200 points. And so only being able to have one token and coming back on click four, I mean, charge pulse wave. Charge pulse wave's rough. What I will say uh -huh. is there's a, like with the lanterns being as prevalent as they are, it's super easy to KO an opposing character with pulse wave. Um, yeah. And it doesn't say standard opposing character. It doesn't say any like thing like that. There's no qualifier. So you can get so. it on bias standards, but my fear would be that they'd burn through you once, get you to this click, and, and then, then like four They're probably going to just tap you again real hard. For 200, it's a yeah. hard sell. If he had a longer dial or just... I mean, there's a lot of improvements you could make, guys, but we'll go ahead. I mean, I love that Phoenix Force Moon Knight's in the game. This yeah. is very cool, but it's a tough sell. It's a tough sell. It's interesting, but... Uh, he also has free, choose one until, until your next turn. He's got energy shield, combat reflexes, or barriers free, but only to place one marker. That's nice, not exactly selling me on it. And then he also has hypersonic speed. When Moon Knight uses it, after resolutions, he may deal one penetrating damage to a character he moved through. I think overall, he doesn't have a lot of ways to heal. The, the click he comes back on is just so for, weak. For his top dial stats at 200 points and that special speed power, he is essentially a more expensive version of Carol Danvers, who could also drop that bystander and had stop clicks. Yeah, so and had like three, two, two stop clicks. It's just, I mean, like seriously, if I'm looking at this guy, he is just a um, you deal two damage to LE, him. Like a he's going to be part three. of the what the WizKid open, not WizKid opens, um, the organized play kits. Yep. So, so the, the rest of the figures for the Moon Knight yeah. organized play kit will be what we get it, uh, what we'll be getting into next, but. I just think this guy's too easy to cripple, too easy to take down. I I mean, I once again love the concept of it, but the dial is a bit underwhelming. I'll definitely get one <coughs> that I can um, modify and get like some flame oh, yeah. effects and phoenix That'd effects. Be cool. I'll have to look at that comic again and try and match it. Next up, we've got Black Knight. So this I is like the this one a bit zero, more. Zero, zero, 002 in the the Moon Knight, uh, Black Knight, and Haro. 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 Uh, <laughs> So he's got Avengers, Defenders, Excalibur, Heroes for Hire, Mystical, Scientist, and Warrior keywords. He's got one trait that is Reckless Swordsman, Blades, Claws, Fangs, Steel Energy. When Black Knight makes an attack with a single target and misses, after resolutions, deal him 
and the target one unavoidable damage. So he's Flavorful. dealing himself damage, but they're also taking damage. I really like that. That's like him like flailing around. He hits them and himself, and he's like, ah. Oh, <laughs> Rubber yeah. sword. Yeah. Uh, this For note, this is not um, Black Knight with the the ebony blade the i think it's called the ebony blade the one that's like cursed and makes yeah like yeah thirst for blood um i think that's that's probably what it's called yeah but like this yeah this no is other specials other here no uh, so it's dane whitman which i believe is that's like the normal, that's the normal yeah. yeah swordsman or not swordsman black knight geez so you um, know new avengers ta we've seen that already but very yeah. very standard dial nothing Pretty crazy here yeah but you know I really points, like this trait. Seven I think, clicks long. I think figures like this are great. I, not every figure has to be super complicated and you know overpowered no. or whatever. In his last three clicks, he's this is uh, just solid. Twelve for close attacks with flurry. I mean, potentially killing himself. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> potentially killing himself with the flurry. Jeez. Oh. Yeah. yeah, he's fun. Harrow is one that I'm pretty big yeah. on. Brute scientist, nothing crazy there, but he does have a trait: power generate a test subject bystander max of two. And this turn, that character has Autonomous. He also has Unethical Pain Research, Mastermind and Toughness. He's 35 with some sidestep, full defense special down the dial, and then he got those uh, damage power on his first two clicks. So the test subject that he makes, so this gets Autonomous, the turn is made, power action make it, has Charge and Empower. Making Empower is awesome. Yeah. 35 points to do so. I love it. I don't think it's like standout amazing once again, but I think there will be some teams he's really good on. I think and being then, able to power action and then your action economy is unchanged because now you have a bystander that's autonomous and can do something. Get him in position for really the power, maybe yeah. do a charge. This is another just really interesting one. So you can do this for, on the bystanders or characters on your team, but mm. free, choose an adjacent friendly character. That character can use impervious until your next turn. I don't think we've ever seen that. No. Just, hey, you got impervious. This <laughs> like, we've seen like um, things that like help, like give you maybe like, uh, like ESD if you're on like an Avengers team or stealth like on the Avengers team. Occasional character Super hands senses. out mastermind in specific Something like situations. Yeah. But this is, uh, you know, so I was saying earlier that penetrating damage is really common because it is. But giving a character that is, you know, maybe your third string or like tertiary attack or impervious, just making them like, because, you know, they're still doing something. Making your characters that aren't necessarily the priority that much harder to hit yeah. just makes it that much more of like a turnoff for your opponent to go after. So I think there is some some interesting comboing with this figure. I really, really like the bystanders that have uh, in power here. I think being able to generate two of those is great. You know, turn one, you make one. Turn two, you make the next. Yeah. And you're going. So that now way. you have two empowers for, like, your Flash copying Green Lantern. He's dealing five. With, like, like uh, those, like, symbiote bystanders that we've seen where they've got, like, oh yeah, um, shape change, super senses. I mean, not that this is the most utility piece for them specifically, but giving them impervious on top of two rollouts already is just kind of nuts. And uh, That's there's plenty of characters hilarious. that have, like, two rollouts. So just adding impervious is one other barrier that your opponent has to deal with, and not a lot of teams pack, like, three out wits on it. So I like this guy a lot. Yeah. I think he's really unique. I don't think, once again, I don't think he's, like, standout amazing, meta-defining, but I do think he's good enough to be, like, considered, yeah. Hero. Hero. He's Two-Face. <clears throat> got my box full of impervious. All right, turn your head sideways, guys. We'll go yeah. through this one pretty quickly. We've Ooh. got Case <clears throat> Search for Amut's Tomb. The keywords, mm -hmm. this is the most interesting part, in my opinion. We've got Detective and Mystical. Yeah. So the clue effect is when a friendly character with a listed keyword destroys one or more pieces of blocking terrain, after resolutions, gain one clue token. So one or more pieces. So you can't just destroy eight blockings yeah. and trigger it all at once. It has to yeah, be eight separate that, triggers. Someone that walks through it. Like uh, when I first saw that, I was like, ooh, Scoot, Prime Wrecker. Oh, but Prime Wrecker. Like, <laughs> he, he doesn't have those keywords. Um, but like... A character like that, for yeah. instance, somebody could who just can run through a well, wall. And... His bystanders also have improved movement, destroy blocking. Yeah. So he could trigger it pretty quickly. And when you do trigger it, guys, four, so once you've destroyed four, or once you have four tokens, when a friendly character KOs an opposing character after resolu resolutions heal them one click, that's pretty solid. At six, you've got when a friendly character deals damage to an opposing character occupying or adjacent to a debris marker, increase the damage dealt by one. That's awesome. Making yeah. debris is not a difficult thing in this game. If you build no. around this, getting a bonus one damage, that's a that's a hot commodity. It's not easy to bump your damage up. And doing so with debris, I mean, gosh, that's so easy. And then at eight, you yeah. get when a friendly character kills an opposing character, score 10 points. 
So you're just getting more points, dealing more damage, and healing. This, honestly, like, I'm looking at this. This seems like one of the easiest clue cards to trigger. Oh, yeah. It has the best keyword to trigger with in Mystical. In Silver Age, the Tri-Sentinel's popping off with this. Yeah, absolutely. Man, I know. I like, really like this one. Um, the Doctor Fates from JLU, they all have three damage. They've got, like, six range. If you put them on the right map, they all, like, increase your action total by plus one for, like, however many oh, you have. Oh, yeah. You could easily close that case turn one. Not that it would be, like... <laughs> I'm on the case. Yeah, just, like, <laughs> Dr. Fates. Bzz, 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 bzz. Like, you, would, you wouldn't you would win, but, like, you could you could pop this off real fast, yeah, real easy. If you can find... And it's really fun. Teams who can take advantage of that. I mean, the bonus damage with the debris. Yeah. Pull up on them with a character who has improved movement blocking. Give them something like the zero ring in silver that allows you to make three barrier. Mm -hmm. Sidestep through it. Now they're in debris or they're next to it. Bonus one damage. You know who's a that mystical? That is so easy to trigger. A mystical character that can place debris under an opposing character? Who's that? Joker's Wild Green Lantern. He has the wall mm, marker. That's right. When walls are destroyed, it's different than when a square of blocking is destroyed. You place a debris marker on both sides of the wall. So oh. you place the wall marker on them, and then you shoot the wall. You not only get a clue token, but now they're in debris, and there's a like other square debris in front of them. So that was one of my favorite tricks. Go Alan Scott. Yeah. And then if you have two of them, not oh, that I everything. really need to get into it, but if you have two of them, the other one can place a wall marker, and now they can't use improved or they can't use stealth. Can't use stealth yeah. while they're in that debris. So I love that Alan Scott. I mean, we we're both big fans of him. Yeah. So that's the uh, the Moon Knight OP kit, guys. Honestly, I think they killed it with it. Phoenix Moon Knight's awesome. Black Knight's just a solid figure. Harrow's really interesting in that mystery card. Very cool. So here's some more information on the starter set. Yeah. Uh, so it includes. Or Take all the new first step on your heroic adventure. Yeah, it includes four detailed ready-to-play miniatures with multiple gameplay scenarios. Enjoy bonus, sorry, hours of action-packed excitement as you battle across your tabletop. Start your hero clicks journey here. So we've got some dice in the picture, some tokens, some terrain, a map. So this is going to be a pretty standard starter set. Uh, we can kind of see Iron Man's dial. He's got it's, some sidestep top dial. dial. It looks like it's nine clicks long. And then some force blast, ESD, perplex. Okay. Uh, we can see Captain Marvel's. Looks like she's ending with sidestep and attack special. Can't see anything for Black Panther, Spider Man. There's no point values on here either. So, no. But uh, not a lot to go off of. They this do is have a, a better different color image here on their uh, the little like dial circle in the top corner. Oh Normally yeah, that's like a right white here. for starter sets. It's kind of like a goldish Super rare color. color. But um, you can see the the paint job I was talking about earlier, though. Yeah, the smoke effect and the shine. Really see the like the metallic kind of colors really on Iron cool. Man. Really cool. Also, like the kind of cosmic -y effect on oh, these. Little glitter sparkles on yeah the vibranium. Really, really awesome. So I mean, regardless of the dials, yeah, I, th I think you're right, Sam. I mean, I'm probably just picking this up because it looks cool. Yeah. But we'll keep moving, guys. We're gonna skip past these because they're all right here. Everybody. I really like this guy. This is probably. Like, Dial-wise, this might be my favorite thing previewed. I love this Mr. Fantastic. He's got, get over here for round two. Power, <laughs> range, four. Make a range attack. If Mr. Fantastic hits, after resolutions, place a hit character adjacent to Mr. Fantastic and make a close attack target of that character. So we've got a little jank flurry going on. Is that not and plasticity. The, the quote from Scorpion from Mortal Kombat? Get over get here. O but he doesn't say for round two. So it's get over here. He kills him, and then it goes round two. Oh, there you go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got 50 points, some plasticity. So when he does pull them in, hopefully you can stick them. They don't yeah. have any improved movement. A rollout, really solid stats. Like once again, you know, not like meta defining, but I just love the power on this. Potentially meta defining with this attack ability, though. He's got outwit, and outwit is power. When Mr. Fantastic uses outwit his power, after resolutions, another friendly character may make a close attack, targeting the chosen character if able. So. One thing of note with this, guys, you can do the outwit as a free action, and then you can do the outwit as a power action, and then you can have somebody like, I don't know, 12 attack, 4 damage to carry an Iron Man, make yeah. another swing. I really, really like this guy. I think that really, power is awesome. Again, really awesome action economy. Um, this works. Like, obviously, he would already have to be in place, but, like, you could carry somebody up and outwit, like, as a power with him, and then the carried person could now make a uh, close attack targeting that character. So that's pretty awesome. Really, really There's cool. a lot of utility with, there with that. 
There's so um, many different combos because like he can he can deal some damage in his own right with eleven for yeah. three, and he's repositioning. So there's some you know tactical playability there, and then a double out wit that allows you to do a free attack afterwards with somebody who's potentially already acted. Yeah, I I absolutely love this guy. I think he's fantastic. <laughs> I didn't get it right away. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll move on. Oh, yeah. We've got Human mm. Torch, old Johnny. Uh, so he's got building up to go Nova. I think that's yeah. that's like his biggest thing now. And like, I mean, it's been for a while, but like the, the Nova Blast is pretty iconic. It's a great um, way of representing it, but yeah, he's just not great. So in when he hits, you give him a flare token, and then free, you can remove three flare tokens from Human Torch. If you do, you deal two unavoidable to damage to all other characters within four squares, friendly included. No line then of destroy fire either. All blocking terrain within four squares. Doesn't have celebrity or doesn't have mystical or uh, detective, so he can't be yeah, used for that. Sorry guys. Case card. I know you were thinking. Yeah. Oh, flare tokens destroy it. That that'll be awesome. No. <laughs> uh, so he's got Fantastic Four and Celebrity. Um, that's his first trait. He has a special speed power. His first four clicks, along with poison range combat expert points. top dial. Yeah, ninety points. And then uh, he's really, like, kind of weak defensively. He's like a glass yeah. jaw. And then he drops down to a just running shot energy explosion. But he is a flyer with five range. And that special speed power is you can feel my heat from over there. Hypersonic speed. When Human Torch uses it and would make an attack, he may instead deal this one damage to like each him. adjacent opposing character. So, yeah, you don't have to roll for that, right? Like the issue though when is when you would make an attack. You can when just... you would make an when he uses it and would make an attack, he may instead just deal one it doesn't damage. Say instead of normal damage, it says instead of making the attack, yeah. you can and just. And what deal does one he damage. have to do to trigger his trade? He yeah. has to attack. So if you opt to play him this way, the way he's designed, yeah, he goes against his core element, building up to go Nova. This yeah. figure doesn't synergize with itself. I, do I like, hate this. I do <laughs> I don't like that like you, this it kind of gives you like a a move and poison, and then he has poison on dial. I like that, but I definitely agree that the trait is really hard sense. to pull off. Um, it's when he hits. It doesn't say when he like if he hits multiple people. He only has one target, but he does He's have energy explosion. He's not hitting if you choose to do if this. If it said though. whenever he damages an opposing character, then you so could get it from better, poison. Dude. You could get it from this speed power. And at ninety points, I still don't think he'd be like unfair by any mean. I think no. he'd be reasonable. I think I'd consider it. Like I think that's. No. I mean, I still like. I still really like that speed power. Just like hypersonic nine up, and I'm like, I'm going to attack. But instead, <laughs> like, I don't know if I've ever seen that wording before. I don't remember seeing Declare like the attack before. just to go, yeah. kidding. When I would make an attack, mm, I'll deal you all one. Let's go on to, I know, so first thing is he's unique. Yeah. Uh, Power Cosmic, Fantastic Four. I know Simeon's a lot more excited about this one, so oh. you can take it over. Yeah, Infinity Gem thing. So Infinity thing. I love the comic he's from. Yeah. It's really cool what it's he is in the really comics. Cool. I actually, I really like this dial. I don't think it's gonna see a whole lot of play but i personally will play it uh so he's 70 points he starts on click two uh yeah it says right at the first the first rally <laughs> infinity thing begins the game no on no i'm gonna two. i'm gonna cover it up now guess what he does <laughs> <laughs> he's got sidestep uh it's dialed super simple he's four clicks long if he doesn't uh pop off with his rally so four clicks mm -hmm. um it's sidestep incapacitate special defense power and then he's got prob his first two clicks no damage powers last two clicks if you have fours on uh, friendly or opposing rolls and you get four of them you can free remove four of his rally dice and then turn him to click one where he becomes a running shot um that special attack power that you see there which is a 12 he's a 19 with invincible and four damage with prob that special attack power gives him flight pulse wave when he uses it friendly characters have safeguard pulse wave we saw that uh, Scott Porter that says, like, it ignores friendly characters. Yeah. So we know that's good. It's He's just four range, but that's also a four range pulse wave, too. So if you yeah, can the heal him to that. Definitely help him out there. Also, if you just want to kind of stock those up, all of those special defense powers were stop clicks. So yes, if they you are have stops. four rally dies, that's a free thing. If they knock you to your last click, you can just heal up to click one. Uh, just completely negating everything they did to him. So Infinity Thing can't be chosen for Mastermind and can't be healed except by the Fantastic Four team ability. 
So pretty awesome. He's he's really like I look at this he's figure super niche, and like, you know. I like when I look at a figure, I always think about like if I'm playing him, like what am I trying to fit him in? Yeah. And if I'm playing against him, what am I trying to do to him? And I honestly don't have an answer for either of them. If I'm playing against him, it's he's not such a big threat that I have to deal with him. I think he's being ignored, but the the thing is like But when you ignore him you get the infinity punished thing. almost and it's like yeah. it's I, so weird. I like, feel like after six or seven attacks, a four on opposing and friendly dice rolls i mean bombastic gonna, bag man has enough. proven that yeah you stack them pretty quick and I feel like, like that's a, a fairly common i mean obviously it's a one and six he becomes two, a threat but... though like you know like that and then it's like okay when he becomes a threat i now have to ping him for one yeah so this guy like i mean i just look at him and i'm like this guy just seems like he's gonna be annoying and that's where it starts and ends for me it's like this yeah. guy's just gonna be annoying and also if you don't want to use his pulse wave he is just a 12 for four yeah. with two targets like that's and if also you, a pretty solid if option. If you miss him, he can be equipped too. So like, give him some defensive or offensive stuff to maybe do yeah. on these lower dials. Give him the. If you miss when he's blast. on that click one, like so, say your strategy is like I'm just gonna ignore him, right? And then he heals up to that click one. It's like okay, now I got to deal with him. You miss that attack on him, and now it's like oh, I have to sink another action into hitting him. And then if that, you know, he's so weird. Like this guy will simultaneously absorb no actions from your opponent and possibly like way too many yeah so i will say his big weakness is that that stop click that uh we saw um it does not have anything that no reduces. reducers yeah can't so be mastermind too can only be healed by that, fantastic that form. human torch can hypersonic and then just be like eh, take one and he i mean if you're oh yeah you know i mean the human torch does cost more but there's plenty of characters that can do free damage kind of stuff and yeah. so that is a weak point, but, um, you know, like there is a thing that has the stones of Merlin. So you could just equip him with that. There's a lot of options for black him. beard. Arr. I know I'll, I'll play him just cause I want to see him pop off. I really want him to hit click one. He'll and definitely be wave. fun. So this is a first guys. We have a legacy figure that has already been legacy. She's yeah. definitely better. And you know, I just like, regardless of my like opinion on of how good they are or how bad they are. Whoa. <laughs> What is that? Oh my god. Is that? We have her in the studio. Oh my god. Incredible. <laughs> I cannot believe it. She managed to come all the way down. And we're actually giving her away, but we'll get into that later, guys. Um, but yeah, this is a, a, a re legacy legacy figure. And man, if, if the figures, you know, regardless of my own opinion, I think that they have just knocked it out of the park with making all these figures feel incredibly unique. Oh, they yeah. all do really, really interesting stuff. So she's got a trait that says shields up. Power, if no friendly character had a shield token, give a friendly character within range and line of fire a shield token. When the friendly character with Invisible Woman's shield token would take damage from an attack, instead remove the shield token and deal, them to, uh, deal that character one unavoidable damage. So this is a non-optional thing. So if they are dealing damage to you, you do have to remove the token. This will still force your opponent to play in like potentially suboptimal ways. So I do like that. 50 points for TK, Prob, and this shield up ability, uh, which can also not go on multiple people. It's if no friendly character had right. a shield token. So it's one person. Uh, you know, it, with how cheap and economical support figures can be in the game, 50 points is kind of a tough sell. And honestly, like, the attack and damage specials aren't going to do you a whole lot. She starts with TK prob, which is honestly better than these powers, in my opinion. She's got Precision Strike TK. I suppose it's not actually better, but, you know, it's not a big difference. No. When Invisible Woman hits, after resolutions, give each hit character an action token. So some stunning blow for you uh, legacy players. Not even close to where I am. Shape change. When Invisible Woman uses it and succeeds, after resolutions, you may move her up to two squares. So shape change, Precision Strike TK with some bells and whistles. So, yeah, once again, 50 points primarily for this trait. Yeah. I will say it's interesting. She has the Avengers keyword, so some Avengers swap she may be, like, useful for. Um, I was going to say, there's, like, she'll fit um, into, like, some niche teams where you have, like, a big heavy hitter that's just as good, if not better, on click two. Oh, sure. Because, like, you – obviously, this is kind of like a uh, – not like a don't die kind of piece, but this is like a – I don't know, like, giving Wonder Woman's armor to, like – any character that she wants to uh but yeah since it is power if no other friendly character you do have to like wait for that person to take damage. i really my biggest gripe about this one is that i don't like that it's not optional yeah if that, you could yeah if i could wait until 
Like if I could choose like one to do it, I would be way more excited about this. Yeah. But the fact that it's would be hit, you know, it forces your opponent's hand a little differently, but still like a very cool effect. Once again, like you got to applaud them for the creativity, especially with these Fantastic Four ones. So that's the full Fantastic Four OP set. Uh, so you got Mr. Fantastic, uh, Human Torch, Infinity Thing, and then instead of a detective card, you've got the Legacy Invisible Woman. <clears throat> so we'll keep moving here, guys. I think we're getting pretty close to the end of it. That might have been the end of it. No, just kidding. Oh, yeah. We've got an Iconics, <laughs> Batman and Robin. Batman appears to be a unique. We've got Robin at 45 with a little wild card. Wild card, Strange yeah. Strange set symbol. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like an umbrella. And then if we look at Batman's card, it looks like he's got the Batman TA, and then maybe that's a uh, wild card as well. We can also see at the bottom here, improve movement, elevated, and then that looks to be through characters. Adjacency? Or, yeah. Yeah. Kind of I don't know. And then just look. Like, we don't know what it does, it's guys. Big, long but trait. Wall of text something. here. Bang. Wall of text. Uh, pretty cool, though. Robin's got the slap on his face. I love yeah. it. <laughs> uh, some more Moon Knight. They fit together, so it's going to be a fun one where... Here we go. Oh, yeah. How beautiful. That cracked. The... Amazing. The word bubbles. I liked that when they did the Batman 60s uh, yeah, like dude. mini set. All Mr. The, like, Freeze yeah. with his gun and Joker with his buzzer. All the onomatopoeia stuff. And like Deadpool's had some. Dr. Bong has like the big bong. Yeah, the only figure uh, in that set that yeah. has it like on the sculpt. <laughs> right. I but, love that kind of stuff. I know like it detracts from the, I don't know, the realism of off. some people. But like I really you like always, those. You can always get the DC 75th Bane if that bothers you. Yeah. If you clip it off, though, Man. then it's just Bane carrying around oh. Batman, like, sadly. like He's just like, here is Batman. <laughs> I killed my son. Here is Batman. <laughs> this is, uh, yeah, when I was saying, Gosh. like, what a sculpt. I mean, I am just hoping this dial is, like, meta, meta, meta. <laughs> I want to I wanna play this guy yeah. competitively. You can kind of see someone's card in the corner there. Not sure whose. Um, it does say Pulse Wave at the bottom. Maybe that's, maybe that's that Azrael's. Uh, it does like it's got free Batman ally something. I can't really. Yeah. It's too hard to make out. This Batman Hopefully sculpt once again soon. is whatever. This sculpt is like probably the best sculpt of 2023. Like that's in it's my mind. Cool. That's how good it looks. This Bane. I mean, God, as a Batman fan, this if is like a dream come true. If you're not true. a Batman fan at all, but you like customizing stuff, that would also make an amazing cool. spawn. Okay. So this is why we didn't look at Thanos right away, because all of them are in a, an album. So here's the cover of the Nightfall, which cool. is different from like the CGI or the digital renders that are being mm -hmm. used on the Wolverine package in this one. Not a huge deal. Uh, Thanos is just straight up the figure. <laughs> yeah, just snap. <laughs> Thanos snap. Some cosmic effects. But we can see that he uh, has got some improved movement or targeting uh, trait. We can see here he's 8, 12, 19 with sidestep, psychic blast, and invincible. invincible. And he goes to running Six shot range. the same stuff. Yeah, it looks like Kinda maybe some steel energy. Yeah, there's like a phasing click. Uh, mind control? Mind control looking click. Uh, he does have a trait that says free, choose, choose a, a standard, standard power. power. Um, on Thanos' card. On Thanos' card. Thanos can use the chosen, chosen power. power until your next turn, probably. Yeah. I, I'm assuming Pretty there's close. not a ton of words getting clipped off Got the off deity there. keyword, too. <laughs> yeah. Um, there's but probably going to be a lot more going on with him than that, but six range, two lightning bolts. I would hope there's a lot more going on with him. I, I assume he's just traits. It doesn't look like there's any standard power or any yeah. special powers on that dial, so no. I assume he's got like two, maybe three traits, and obviously the first one is just choosing a standard power on his card so if you want sidestep running shot top dial that's you an option take that. yeah. the paint on this is also fantastic the face oh, looks gosh. great so often the with thanos's those, face those thighs he gets are so, those so he gets mean. that kind of goofy like you know his eyes yeah. are all messed up so i'm i'm really excited for this this looks like comic book thanos it looks perfect the gems are painted on they look great and yeah this uh once again like I don't know what kind of new paint they're using, but this shine, this like yeah. really like metal, like metallic feeling. They've dabbled in metallic stuff before, but this just like has this like looks, a different shine to it. Yeah. It really reflects. It like looks This looks like Thanos' yeah. armor, like truly. And I, I love it. Here's the Wolverine Cat Fire. I yeah. think we already saw that. Uh man. So much stuff, you guys. Here's that Fantastic Four. So that is everything, guys. 
this was probably a pretty long video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hope if you if you're just in it for the dials, hopefully you skimmed through, found some stuff. But once again, I want to reiterate that WizKids has given us a code for 10% off on shop.wizkids.com. You guys can go ahead and visit that and use code. Give me one second here. Dial, dial 10 H or dial H10. H10 yeah. D I A L H 10 to get 10% off your order. There's a ton of cool stuff coming out. The Iconics, the Scott Porters, and yeah. sealed bricks There's or stuff. cases of Avenger so, 60 of. Here's what I'll say about the WizKids store. I always promote local gaming stores, and I think everyone should. Uh, but they are reaching out now to two, well, not now, but in the future, in the very near future, they're going to be reaching out to 200 new countries that they hadn't been shipping to before. Some of these countries might not have local game shops. You, mm -hmm. maybe living in the U.S., might not have a local game shop that's within reasonable distance. Even if you do, they might be sold out of the Iconics. They won't be able to get the Scott Porters. There is a hard cap ordering of six, so you know if you yeah. have a lot of players, some people will have to go online. So I've heard the argument of, like, WizKids is trying to, like, undercut. Like, they're not. They're not trying to undercut the local game stores. That's not what any of this is about. No. They're reaching out to markets that uh, can't get clicks in other ways, or maybe, like, you know, there's, like, I know famously, if, if you want to drop, like, a big hero clicks name, PJ Bolin, um, I don't know if he still is in this situation, but at one point, like, didn't have, like, a local game store. And this... I, I've listened to Critical Clicks for a long time, so this could have been like anywhere from like the last five years when he's so talking <laughs> about this. But I'll just pretend like it's recent. But, but there, um, you yeah, know, if you're like three hours away or something. Regardless of if it's PJ or not, like, yeah. if you don't have a store, this is a great opportunity to order directly. And with things on pre-order, you know, just getting it direct from the source, it's a really easy way to do it. And, you know, and those Scott who doesn't Porters, like getting a discount? Those Scott right? Porter figures are both unique. They're <laughs> awesome. I think they're both like very playable and very fun. Absolutely. And they both go to an amazing cause. So obviously, like Huntington's, um, yeah. Like I think, I think there's obviously reasons why you go to WizKids store and reasons why you don't at certain points. They have but everything anytime available you do, right now. Yeah, every time you do go. Seriously, Use code guys. dial H10 because if you're looking that's 10 for off. the play at home kits, the Dyson token packs, sealed product, any of the Iconics figures, and then the Scott Porter soon to be, you can check them out here and make sure to use that code dial H10, all caps, D I A L H 1 0. So, guys, that is going to do it for this video. If we do get more information on those nightfall dials, I promise you'll hear it on the podcast, you'll see it in the videos, you'll see it on our live stream, which is coming up this Friday. If you're still watching this video, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Friday, 5 p.m. CST, we're giving away a bunch of stuff. Check out the IPF Facebook. That's International Player Foundation. Or check out the Dial H Facebook, and you will get filled in. There's some great ways to enter. But that is everything we have for this video. So seriously, guys, thank you for watching. We appreciate it, and we'll see you Friday. Sign off.